guys, in this video we are adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation. I've got the steps listed for adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation and the steps for adding and subtracting are the same. Um, I'm going to refer back to the steps when I work each example. Okay, we'll just see those steps in action. So the um, step number one says to get the same powers of 10 on each number, starting with the smaller exponent, we're going to add to the smaller exponent the amount it would take to make it equal the larger one. So I'm going to add 1 to 6 to make it equal 7, the larger exponent, and I'm going to move the decimal left in that same number the same number of times that I added. So I added one, so I moved my decimal left one place. So my new factor in the first number becomes 0.188. And then it tells us to add or subtract the factor. So here we are adding. So we're going to do 0.188 plus 2.9. And it's telling us to use the new decimal that we created when we added one um, to the exponent. So we're going to add those two factors together. That gives us 3.088. And the last step tells us to keep, or excuse me, the third step says keep the same power of 10. So it's going to be times 10 to the new exponent because both of them are now 10 to the seventh power. And then it make, makes sure our answer is in proper scientific notation. So we check out this factor. Is it between 1 and 10? Yes, it is. 3.088 is between 1 and 10. So we are good to go times 10 to the seventh power. That would be our answer. Number two, or the second example, we're going to add to the smaller exponent. Remember with negative numbers, the more negative is a smaller number. So we're going to add one to negative five to make it equal negative four. Adjust the decimal. Remember, if you add to the exponent, you got to fix the decimal. So this number becomes 0.56. We're going to subtract that from 3.62, and we're going to keep the power of 10, which is 10 to the negative fourth power. When we subtract 3.62 minus 0.56, we get 3.06 times 10 to the negative fourth power. Double check your factor. Is it between 1 and 10? It is. So our answer is 3.06 times 10 to the negative fourth. A little bit different than multiplying and dividing. We are not using our exponent rules in these types of questions. We're just getting the same power of 10 by adjusting the exponent and the decimal. In the third example, we've got a exponent of 8 compared to a 10, so we are going to have to add 2 to the 8, which means we're going to move the decimal, you guessed it, we're going to move it two places to the left, which makes 0 .043. We would use a 0 there as a placeholder, and we are going to subtract 0 .043 from 1.6, and we're going to keep our power of 10 times 10 to the 10th. Go ahead and subtract those numbers, and we would get 1.557 times 10 to the 10th power. Double check that factor. Is it between 1 and 10? Yes, we are good to go. All right, last example. Let's start with a smaller exponent, which is negative 6. We're going to add 1 to it, adjust the decimal. So we get 0.38. We are adding that to 5.6, which is going to give us 5.98. And we're going to keep that power of 10, 10 to the negative fifth. Our final answer, 5.98 times 10 to the negative fifth. I hope this has been helpful and good luck.